it is befitting that I leave the game just like I came in, beating a big, bad monster who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. I'm experienced now, professional. Been chopping trees. I've done something new for this fight. All of you chumps are gonna bow. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Good friend of mine, Joseph Little Whirlwind, um, very good family friend of mine actually, till this day, known since I was a kid. Yeah. His friends had an accord, and uh, one night he convinced my mom to let me go out with them. I was 12 years old, dude. They took me to Ontario street races. His friend of love, dude, just, I don't know. It was one of those things where you just like found like your missing part in life. I didn't stop, I haven't stopped, I won't stop. <laughs> First car was uh, my Civic, love of my life. Uh, it was 94 Honda Civic. We did a B20 B Tech, ITBs, wired tug, you know, all the Army and Navy fittings, and uh, landed me cover of a Honda Tuning October 2007. During that time, I actually had this as a beater. It was a stock GSR, just kind of beat up on it every day. Teamed up with my boy Ryan from Wirewire. He was my number one supporter, my partner in crime with this car. Um, went over some ideas, wiring, color themes, um, all that cool shit. Landed me cover Super Street. I want to say it was August issue of 2008, and uh, yeah, that I was probably no, more known for this car. I, I turboed this one originally. Once you go turbo, dude, you just don't go back. Like the bad addiction, dude, it's horrible. Like I can't even describe the feeling that it does to you. My best friend Hugh lives in Texas. He he had a pretty fast car, so we went over some ideas and like he you know, built a crazy ass Civic. Teamed up with Ryan again, of course, and. Um, Went to work. Tony Paolo from T1 helped me out a lot, you know, um, a lot of consulting from him. And uh, built a pretty badass show drag car. Made 820 wheel horsepower, 30 pounds of boost, and um, landed me cover of again Honda Tuning, thankfully, uh, thanks to Rodriguez of last year, August of 2010. And uh, yep, here I am now. We have the entire gun catalog on this, from suspension to valve train to black series throttle body, intake manifold, composite fuel rail, um, the camber kit arms, strut bars, the black series strut bars. Um, got to get those before they even hit the market. It's pretty cool. VTEX on it, cover black series cam gears on that puppy. Shift knob, control arms, uh, the RR three inch exhaust system. Pretty dope, I get a lot. Name it, it's on it. If it's available for this car, I got it. <laughs> But this car used to be turbo. I had big intake manifold, um, big charge pipe, and the car was useless, dude, under 6,000 RPM, useless. And, and you know, supposedly a street car. So um, I switched over to the smaller plenum, um, longer runners, uh, smaller throttle body, went naturally aspirated, and um, my mid-range and the drivability on the car is way better than it was before. You know, yeah, obviously it made a gang of power turbo, but I want something I could enjoy, I'm not gonna hurt myself and ruin the car. Something I could beat up on, jump in it, drive to Walmart, have a little fun, you know? and. Uh, that's why I chose Skunk 2 product. They build for direct, for racing and for street. They don't just build for one or the other. You know, I, I get best of all worlds with their product. I won't take a car out unless it's, in my eyes, done correctly. Quality is a big thing, dude. Big thing to me. I won't build a car without quality. It, it, it's who I am. Paint, everything. It has to be top notch. If it ain't top notch, I ain't rocking it. You know, you give you try to give me some bootleg ass shit for free, I ain't gonna rock it. You know, like, takes away of uh, the sheepy character of me. I go to sleep thinking about car shit. I wake up thinking about car shit. It's who I am. 